Good morning, good morning, good morning, 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 morning. Hashtag my global family. <laughs> this is Dre of Beta, coyote walking in this world and real life a Sleta Pueblo superhero. Proud to spirit indigenous warrior family. And guess who's back in business? <laughs> oh yeah. That would be this coyote. I'll be honest, family, I had a bit of trauma, institutional violence, because I was too effective as the chair of the world's largest graduate student organization. I lobbied, I advocated, I protested, I petitioned, and I told the world what the American Education Research Association was truly like for a graduate student. The truth hurts, family, the truth hurts. <laughs> But this coyote was successful. You know I'm on a mission from my ancestors to change this world. And our voice, our experiences, our scholarship, our work is so important, family. So this coyote got knocked down. But guess what? I got back up. <laughs> today's theme, family, today's theme is all about that adage, right? That adage, that prayer, that belief whatever it is you might have family, but think back to what our grandparents and parents always told us. When a door gets slammed in our face family, what happens? A window of opportunities will open. So don't you worry family, if you're gotten down, if life has gotten you down, don't you worry because your family will be here to pick you back up. <laughs> Absolutely, family. I will be here to pick you back up, just like my siblings, my aunties, my uncles, my academic blood and adopted family did for this coyote. <laughs> I gotta admit, family, my superpower <laughs> is an unending feeling of optimism and hope. Hope. I gotta have hope. And I am wearing my I got this t-shirt today, family. <laughs> I'm feeling better. I'm feeling so much better, family. I had to shut down. I had to shut down for a little while. I had to shut down from last Wednesday when I got home after midnight, right? So like way early Wednesday morning, I got home and I was sick and I was exhausted and I shut down. I almost, I thought I had COVID because I had been exposed the couple days before. And then I shut down, I slept. I literally passed out for a whole day. I cleaned my little house and started um, I'm packing a little on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I try to go back to work family and I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't concentrate. Um, I was exhausted. I was tired and I was still angry and hurt. <laughs> I was hurt. I did a lot of work. So many man hours of volunteering, rewriting an organization, bringing in the special interest groups, rewriting the bylaws and the constitution, providing programming every other month, creating and maintaining an alliance with the World Education Research Association. You know this coyote. <laughs> who's making waves all year, leading, supporting, and loving my global family. Because <laughs> that's what I do. That's literally what I do. That's my jam family. I go around the world and I make family. <laughs> I model what is possible and I share the love through my experiences, scholarship, activism, and voice family. That's what this world's about. We gotta create that change. Because I don't know about you family, but have you been looking around Things are getting scary again. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, this coyote is a medical marijuana activist, researcher, and advocate. I am medicated 100% of my waking hours, family. And I am here to prove that people with disabilities are not to be thrown away. We are worthy of dignity, love, and respect, and we can do a job well, as good as anyone else. We just need accommodations to help us walk through the world because we walk differently. And that's okay, family. I am here to prove that we got this. We got this. So let's go ahead and get started with our yoga today. So I'm feeling good because I've been working out a lot too. So don't forget family, this coyote has lost 110 pounds and kept it off for the last six years. So I'm saying I used to be hopeless, but now I'm filled with hope because I know we can do anything together, anything together. <laughs> I am a goofball family, 
And you know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. This is me, family. Um, about seven, eight years ago. So don't forget, we can do anything together. And it starts with creating one healthy habit every day. This was me again about eight years ago, family. So I'm just saying, I was diabetic and dying at 35, and at 41. <laughs> I'm a badass two-spirit indigenous warrior. So I'm just saying, family, we can create those habits every single day. One little habit, right? I started with an elder's yoga tape, and that's why, shout out, we do chair yoga for elders on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Because it's a great place to start, family, and it is yoga that is accessible for anyone. So join me. I'm also working on getting my yoga certification this summer, family. That's my goal for May. Or June. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Started, started with our yoga. Oh, yeah. Guess who's got jujitsu today? Guess who's got a TV interview today? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's do this, family. Let's do this. And welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and today we have an awesome okay. chair yoga always... sequence for you. So you're going to need a chair and preferably one with no arms. Hop into something comfy and let's get started. We got this family. I'm excited. I'm excited. Are you excited with me? Are you excited with me? <laughs> I'm a goofball. All right, Absolutely my friends. A goofball. Thank you for choosing this practice. Let's begin. Sit up nice and tall. You want to get to where your feet are firmly planted on the floor, so your whole foot's on the ground. And if, if that's not happening for you, then you can bring some pillows or some blankets or just find something, get creative to bring uh, the earth up to your feet. So you can pause the video and do that. And then if you're leaning back in your chair, go ahead and sit up tall. We'll start to just slowly activate the muscles that help us find length up through the spine. So inhale, lengthen through the crown. Imagine a little marionette string just pulling you up from the crown. And let your hands just rest gently wherever is natural, on the knees, on the thighs. Then inhale deeply as you lift your heart. And then exhale, relax the shoulders down your back body. So you're just bringing more awareness and more integrity into the body, but specifically to this line of the spine, right? This plumb line, this center channel. There's all of these meridians of energy, or in yoga we call them the nadis. Um, not naughty, but naughty. And they run through the spine, right? Sometimes we refer to the major points as chakras, but whatever, whatever you want to rock in your mind and in your body, we're just going to take some time to breathe to slow it down and find mobility in a way that's soft and gentle, but also really supportive and beneficial. So we're <coughs> ready to start with the soles of the feet. Lift the toes, press all four corners of the feet down and lower the toes. Lift the toes and lower the toes. Lift the toes and lower the toes. And one more time, lift the toes. Spread the toes and release. Great. Lift the heels one at a time. And then feel that tone, that engagement of the quad. Lift the heels. Keep lifting, lifting, lifting. Lift your heart. Open your mind to a new experience. And then lower the heels. Here we go. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower. Good. Inhale, lift the heels. Sit up nice and tall and exhale lower. Inhale, lift the heels and exhale lower. One more time, inhale, lift the heels and exhale lower. Awesome, inhale, extend right leg out just as much as you can. So you don't have to come the full extension unless it goes there, then great, but just bring it up as much as you can. We're engaging our muscles here. So draw the navel in and up a bit. And you're just gonna spread the toes here, flex the foot and then point the foot, flex. And point. It's all connected. One moving part. Flex and point. Flex and point. Two more times. Flex and point. Flex it up nice and tall and point. And now here we go. Rotating big circles here as you bring it down one way <coughs> and then the other. Cool. Other side. Extend the left leg out. 
So find your extension today. Engage muscles of the core to support the back. Sit up nice and tall. Here we go. Flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point. One more time. Can you hear Flex my angle, family? It's like and cracking. point. And then rotating circles as you bring it down. Rotate the ankle one way and then the other. And then your foot comes down to the ground. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Interlace the fingertips. You're going to grab the right knee and slowly squeeze and lift. So imagine that femur bone. We're kind of squeezing everything in. You can use the chair to ground down and then lift up here. So we're not here, but we're doing our best to lift up through the armpit chest and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, so everyone's will be a little bit different here. If you can't quite squeeze, you can bring a little towel, like a dish towel even, to be extensions of your arms here and hold it here. Squeeze. Then one more breath here, squeezing and lifting. And then take that right shin and you're going to cross it over the top of the left thigh. Then flex your right foot here. Bring your left hand to the outer edge of your right foot if you can. And then bring your right hand to the top of your right thigh. And we create this figure four here and then sit up nice and tall. Now, if you want to deepen this and you're practicing with me and you want a little more, you can bring it to the elbow crease here and lift the leg up. Okay, but there's really no need to push it. Great. One more breath. Fabulous. We're going to come back to the squeeze. So interlace the fingertips around your right knee. Squeeze. Then we're going to slowly extend the right leg out long. So you're going to slide your hands now to the backs, to the, to the hamstring, to the back of the leg and extend it out super long, 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 and then bring it all the way down. Fabulous. Other side, interlace. Here we go. Left knee squeezes in and up. Couple yummy breath cycles here. So you really got to bring the breath, squeeze and lift. Breathe, family. Don't forget to breathe. Just working where you are today, appreciating your body and all its glory, all its beauty, all its limitations. Be thankful for this body that you have. It's the only one you got. So it's never too late to instill this relationship of kindness and love with your body when you're ready. We're going to squeeze and lift one more breath and then we'll flex the foot and cross it over, creating that figure four shape on the other side. Grab your foot and then left hand is going to come down to just gently guide the top of the thigh bone there around and down. So I've been practicing yoga for a long time and, and the benefits are really wonderful. So I'm able to sit up tall here. But I just want to honor and recognize and let you know if, if you're finding that you're sweating a little bit here, just sitting up tall, you can one, rest in the chair or use your breath. Inhale, breathe into your belly and exhale, relax your shoulders to slowly start to build more stability right around this spinal column. We can do this family. So you can sit up tall. Even have sitting is hard and possible. Posture. We got this that isn't causing pain, a conscious posture. Take one more breath wherever you are here. Something that's sustainable, sustainable posture. Cool, then interlace the fingertips, come back to the squeeze, the big squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then slide, interlace fingertips behind, slide them behind. And when you're ready, extend your extension, extend the left leg as long as you can. Inhale and exhale, slowly lower down. Beautiful. Hands are going to come back to the tops of the thighs, resituate, reset with a deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth. Beautiful. Right hand comes to the outer left thigh. And you're going to bring your left fingertips either to the back of the chair or maybe you swing it all the way around. You're just going to find a little gentle twist here. You can come up onto the toes if you like for a little more leverage. Breathing deep. 
imagine your inhale really traveling down to your belly. So we're not breathing up, but we're breathing down. And then come back to center, take it to the other side, nice and slow. Twist, release, flushing the body. And if you really want the benefits of a twist, use that directional breath, right? Don't breathe up, but breathe in that breath all the way down. Cool beans. Bring it back to center. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze and lift. And release. One more time. And release. Awesome work. Drop the chin to the chest. Stay here, breathing deep. Wrap the shoulder blades around the back body. So really firm the shoulder blades behind your heart space. And then inhale, lift the chin parallel to the earth again. And exhale, left ear over left shoulder. Stay here, breathe deep. Great, inhale back up to center. Exhale, right ear over right shoulder. Tag a little weight in the elbows here, my friends. Breathe deep. Awesome, inhale, come back up to center. Here we go. We're gonna slowly bring the feet over towards the right of the chair. And then you're gonna bring your right foot, we're going into warrior two, a supported warrior two. You're gonna bring your right foot firmly to the ground, front knee over front ankle. And then you're gonna use your core strength. So think up, draw the energy up, navel draws in and up to slowly walk. And you can also use your hand on the chair to slowly walk your foot out, turn the left toes in, and then slide back so your hamstring is supported here, Virabhadrasana two with the chair. Whoa. And then just stay here, feel it out, really drop your center, turn left toes in. And then you can stay here with hands on the chair, breathing deep, pull that right hip crease back. So that squeeze move we did here, imagine that. And then hands can stay on the chair or maybe we send the fingertips out, really working from the ground up here, lifting the chest. Now, if this is not if this is not available to you, then so if, if you're here, then breathe deep directional breath, then you're just going to bring one foot forward, kind of creating a right angle, and then the right foot to the side. So one foot forward, one to the side, and work here. So wherever you are, directional breath, breathing deep, inhaling deeply, exhaling completely, inhaling deeply and exhaling completely. Think about lift, lifting all four sides of the torso here. So the front, the back, and both side bodies, nice and long. Take one more breath, you got this. I know the arms are tired, you got this. And then exhale, bring the hands to your heart. Make your way back to center. Use your feet on the earth to come all the way back. So stay connected to the ground. Great, let's try the other side, really nice work. So we'll Forgot walk the, the so we'll release the hands. We'll walk the feet towards the left. Just check it out. Plant the left foot firmly and then start to walk the right foot back. You can use the chair to guide you. Turn the right toes in, really press into the outer edge of that back foot. And then use the chair to really support the belly of the hamstring here. And then open up through the hips. Lift and lengthen all four sides of the torso. Maybe you keep the hands down or maybe you send the fingertips out. If you feel good there, stay there. Or maybe you bring the foot back and this is better for you, creating this 90 degree angle with the tops of the thigh bones and breathing deep. Okay, inhale, lots of love in, love your body. Love this life, explore space. So reach way beyond the fingertips here. Take energy way out beyond the physical posture. Notice where you might be gripping or holding, soften. And we'll take one more breath. Breathing really down, down, down into the belly. And exhaling, hands to heart. Awesome 
work. Here we go. Use the toes, feet on the ground to come back to center. Take your time, take your time. Wonderful, then walk um, your bum just a little bit closer to the edge than we had before. And we'll inhale, sit up nice and tall, release the hands, and then keep this upward current of energy, think up and over. So actually imagine you were holding a beach ball here at your belly. So you have big, big ball here, and you're gonna go up and over into a forward fold. Nice and slow. When you're ready, the spine starts to round. You can release the fingertips wherever it feels comfortable. And you're gonna bring your head towards your knees. Now you might just get this far. You might stay up pretty tall. You might need to make adjustments with where you're sitting on the chair. You wanna to get to a place where you can take some solid, delicious, feel good, let go breaths. Oh, sorry, family. I got dizzy. And, I was and as you inhale in here, my friends, feel the skin of the back body stretch. Can you experiment with that? Can you feel the rise and the fall? Let the breath move you. Take one more cycle of breath, let it be full. And then first bring the hands up to the thighs, then plant the feet firmly, really feel the feet pressing into the earth as you tuck the chin and slowly roll it up. And then as you roll it up, feel that flush of energy, the blood flow opposite direction. And if you need to, if that was a, a big move for you, you can bring the hands to the chair for a little more stability, a little grounding. In case you got a little dizzy or a little head rush. Hi, fellow family. Great, take a deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth. Again, inhale in through the nose, come on. Exhale, let something go. And one more time, let's sigh it out. Inhale with sound. Be gone. Wonderful. Open your <coughs> eyes. Take a little moment to just notice how you feel. Tap into a little inner smile. Maybe even lift the corners of your mouth slightly. Then we'll bring the hands together at the heart to seal our practice. Thank you so much for sharing your time and your energy with me and the rest of the community, everyone practicing with you through this video. Let us know how it went down below. Questions, comments, or oh. Woohoo, woohoo. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We did it, we did it, we did it, did it, did it. Home oh, family, we did it. We did our yoga for the day. That is 16 minutes of Zen family. 16 minutes of Zen. And it's amazing because we did it together, right? We stretched our necks, we stretched our legs, we stretched our arms, and we helped de-stress a little bit of the day away. What a great start, family. I'm just saying, what a great way to start our day. What a great way. What a great way. <laughs> I am just silly, and I love it, family. I love me. I love being me. I love my adventures. I love my family. I love the ups. I love the downs. Because family, being a real life Asleto Pablo superhero is not easy. <laughs> the love of my life and my partner in this life and all others, Neil Shearer, tells me that I am playing life on difficult. <laughs> family, I wouldn't have it any other way because the easy road is often just too easy and the hard road is often fought over it is worked on um and it's always for the right reasons for this coyote i have a spirit that guides me family and i have a moral compass that will not let injustice stand <laughs> so join this coyote and being in real life a slot of public superhero you don't have to be from a Slatter family. You can just be a regular, real-life superhero of your own communities. This coyote has 28, oh no, 
sorry, I have to update that family, 29 nieces and nephews from around the world who are waiting for us to keep our promises of opportunity and equality. So join me, family. We can be the change that we want to see in the world. Today, family, don't forget our special prayer. Our prayer, our prayer, our prayer. It's today. What's our special prayer, family? It is the reminder that when a door slams in your face, windows of opportunity will open. So family, if life has gotten you down a little, it is okay. This is your daily reminder that if everything is not okay right now, that's okay. And it's not you. It is COVID. It is capitalism. It is white supremacy. Y'all look at freaking grocery prices. I almost had a little heart attack the other day when I was ordering a Sam's Club um, and Walmart for my nieces and nephews at UNM. <sighs> Pretty penny family. My partner and I are talking about vegetable gardening. I'm like, seriously, I don't know if we can take that on. But hey, it's an idea, right? We have a giant sack of flour. We're talking about baking our own bread again and growing some vegetables because prices are just crazy, family. We're all tightening our belts. And this coyote is fancy. I'm fancy. I'm fancy. I know. But I am going to be tightening my belt with everyone else and learning how to survive and thrive in our new COVID reality. So get me today, our prayer is a reminder that when a door slams in our face, it's all right because Gammy and our ancestors and the powers that be will open windows of opportunity. <laughs> oh, family, there's a cat that loves, it, it lives right next door and it, it just darts right by my window. <laughs> I love it, it's so funny. Gammy, sorry, I got distracted by the key. Yeah, me, it's your favorite trickster coyote grandchild. I love you, I miss you, and I'm back to my warrior self. I know, Gammy, I know, it took me a minute. <sighs> but I was hurt, and I needed some time to think and heal. But I'm back at it, because I know that you sent me on a mission. <laughs> so although there will be ups, and although there will be downs, and although doors get slammed in our face, Gammy, you taught me to be resilient, to be fierce, to be brave, and to be a leader that all of our people could role model from. Right? That's what we're doing, family. We are proving what is possible to give our children, our grandchildren, and our great-grandchildren hope. So we will never stop fighting for what our communities need. Thank you, Gammy, for being the first example of a warrior woman. I love you, and I continue to do honor to your name as I bring voice and advocacy to the world. Gammy, remind us all that when we have doubt, to be strong and to find those people who will lift us up. I love you, Gammy. Rest in peace. Papa, I am a Papa. The world is mean. They're so mean, Papa. And I know you, it's a hita. Don't let them worry you. Don't let them influence you, let it go. So I will listen to you, Papa. <laughs> I will listen to your wise words and I will remember that doors closed does not mean the end. That windows, crawl spaces, hell. I'll find a keyhole and figure a way through. So Papa, allow us to find those spaces, those pockets, those communities, those people who will help us heal because the world is traumatic. Papa, thank you for all of your love, for your gentleness, for your kind ear, and for giving me a loving example to live by. I love you, Papa. May you rest in peace. And to my great great grandpa, Pablo Beta, true revolutionary and a sled of public statesman. Hi, sir. These institutions, they're not doing well, and we need to do something about it. So, dear grandpa, aunties, uncles, yammies, papas, cousins, all who've gone before us, can you give us some strength, resiliency, some ability to make some change? Because sometimes these giant institutions just swat us down like flies. But together, our collective voices are powerful, and we will make the change to secure those opportunities for our children. Thank you for all you have done for us, dear ancestors, allowing us to continue to thrive and do honor to all of your names. May you rest in peace and to continue to watch over all of your children. Family, today is Wednesday. It's a brand new opportunity. I'll admit, this week was rough. Um, 
<laughs> allergies still kill me, family. Figuratively, figuratively. <laughs> Anyone else? Allergies? I know, right? But it was a hard week. I was trying to find my footing. I had lost some self-confidence, family. Because um, when people turn away from you, when they're afraid to be associated with you, um, when there are labels of unfitness or mental health issues, right? Because I am an open PTSD advocate and um, public scholar. So that means that just because I have PTSD, that people can use that label against me and can weaponize it. And that's why I am here, family, to prove that people with PTSD are just like everyone else. We walk through the world slightly differently. We might need accommodations in our workplace, in our schools, um, in our in our lives to make us successful, but we are just as deserving. We are just as worthy as every opportunity. And we are literally protected by law family. 1990s Americans with Disabilities Act. So I will never allow anyone to think lesser of me or question my ability as a leader, as a professional, as an academic, as a researcher. Um, because that's unfair. That is slandering this coyote's character and we will not let it stand. So family, don't forget, gaslighting is real. Do not believe the hype because haters will try to silence and stop you. And sometimes it comes in the form of a $27 million nonprofit who literally sent the police to arrest me, family. I've been volunteering there. I'm still an officer and I was literally a council member, um, one of the leaders of 33. <laughs> And their graduate student chair. I don't understand, family. The world does not make sense until you look underneath the lines. When you read between the lines, family, you'll understand that my well articulated and um, brutally honest uh, truth about the situation from bullying to hostile work environment to reification of class and elitism to the fact that we had a ridiculous theme of cultivating equitable systems of education for 21st century when the hotel rooms were $300 a night, family. My grad students couldn't afford the conference, and that was our rallying cry. It is ridiculous to do performances, right? Who were we um, impressing with all the grandeur and the pomp and circumstance when all we really wanted was the opportunity for it to be affordable? And for us to be able to network and and uh, you know use this network that we pay every year to um, to help us with our future dreams in changing this world through academia. So I'm just saying, family, I might be down for a little bit, but then I get back up because my family's always there. <laughs> Shout out to my UNM family. Seriously, from all my deans, aunties and uncles, Dean Lawrence Royball, Dean Nancy Lopez, um, Dr. Steve Desai, Dr. Sean Secretaro at UNM, who have all been um, hugely supportive. And then my greater network, Dr. Nolan Cabrera, um, Dr. Luis Udieta, Dr. Lola Cabron, um, Dr. Dave Stavall, all these amazing people, but literally Dr. Timberly Baker, Dr. Oscar Medina, um, literally have been supporting me and caring for me throughout the last two weeks. So I appreciate that care. I appreciate that love. And of course, shout out to my love, Neil Shi, my mama bae, my mama tiger, and my super dad. <laughs> Can't get anywhere without your family. And my besties, Karen Lynn and Kyla, because we get into trouble, family. You got to have your besties. <laughs> Mwah! I'm off to make adventures happen and cause trouble somewhere else. I'll see you guys soon. Ah, life is an adventure, family. Have fun. That's what I choose.